please turn to page 323 in the Green Book and join the choir as we sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Welcome to St. Josephine Bequita Parish. I, Marie, am the lecturer for this Mass. This Mass celebration is for our parish community. There will be a second offering after, first commun after Holy Communion rather, for the Christmas collection. Let us pause for a few moments of silence as we prepare to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who roam throughout the world seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Please stand for the opening hymn. Please turn to page 329B for the first verse of Adeste Fidelis and join us as well for verse 3 on 329.
our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Merry Christmas. And we are very thankful to the Lord who became human being. Incarnation, Emmanuel, God with us. And we are celebrating his birth. And as we gather around this Eucharist table, God is giving more light to, into our life to dispel the darkness, to dispel the evil spirits, to dispel the negativity, and to do his will. And we, as we gather, let us be aware the moments that we have failed to do his will and ask God's pardon and pray to celebrate this sacred mystery more worthy manner. And say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I've greatly in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, bless Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord of God. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy.
let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant we pray that we may share in the divinity of Christ who, hum who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy. For in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is number 32 in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 3-2. to the Hebrews. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors 
in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days he has spoken to us by the Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the ages. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being. And he sustained all things by his powerful world. word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to the angels, as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which the angels did God, did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be his father, and he will be my son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. stand for the gospel acclamation. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life and the life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believe in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only begotten son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, once again, Merry Christmas. You want to see me back? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> T.S. Uh, Eliot, uh, in his poem, uh, Journey of the Magi, explains how uh, difficult it is to reach uh, the manger, you know, the cradle. Uh, there is a time, there is a uh, 
people find difficulty to proceed you know there are so many uh, hindrances so many difficulties and there are moments to turn back and when you reach you see a new birth new light new insight and when you return you no longer the same person everything you had has got a different dimension and when you reach there you see differently and my dear brothers and sisters so when majai uh, visited or uh, paid homage to jesus in the manger and when they went back you know as the gospel instructs us you no know, like uh, they went uh, in a different way so my dear brothers and sisters i call upon you to reflect when you come to the manger which is uh, decorated and uh, uh, you know projected on the altar when you see the manger what happens to you is there something happening in you are you meeting jesus i just want to say without meeting jesus christmas is a, is not a right celebration so these days you may hear you know it is christmas holidays it's all uh, about uh, uh, all the celebration is around uh, uh, christmas and they they you know they say happy holidays instead of ha- merry christmas or uh, happy christmas or whatever uh, expression you say they don't say uh, christmas you know because it is there is christ in that most of the time together with those people we also say happy holidays because we don't have christ within us sometime including me when i preach so it is it is meeting jesus you know jesus in our life and it becomes different the magi took a different way to their life and in the gospel we see so many people meeting with jesus many of them their life and many of them went sad in the gospel itself we see so this it is bringing you know a uh, happiness and joy to our life when we meet jesus and jesus came down as the st john's gospel says you know may the word made flesh and dwelt among us and according to matthew matthew will be saying according to isaiah god with us emmanuel and bringing jesus bringing god with us and it is all bringing god with us godly nature and st john says you know when you believe in him you become the child of god or children of god and this is all about incarnation god made a friendship with human being are we making friendship are we making relationship with ourselves you know i know one day uh, not one day one christmas day i was preaching you know it is a, if uh, if christ is not born into our hearts our celebration becomes useless you know meaningless and at least you should call your parents your children your friends and dear ones make a, a friendship you know god became man to make relationship with human being and you know the story you know in the in the book of genesis 
God used to walk every day, evening walk with Adam and Eve. They had a good relationship. Evening walk, going together, you know, and they broke. And he sent his son to restore that uh, relationship. And I just want to say, we need to build a relationship with God and our being, our, our family members, friends, you know, making our life easy, more brighter and meaningful and more happy. And these days I am working at a, a Scarborough Health Network or a, uh, as a chaplain. When I visit uh, some older, elderly uh, patient, they are desperately waiting for to talk to someone. They don't have, they have children, family members, but they don't come. Maybe they are, you know, duties and all those things. But I see desperately in need of someone to talk to. And I, I think I have also mentioned this last Sunday, started to develop my listening capacity to them, to feel with them. And you all can do. And we all need to do. Reaching out to people in need and making God Emmanuel. Um, word made flesh and dwelt among us. And this is all about, you know, making relationship with God. And you know, most of the time, you know, I'm not there to judge people. Our Christian belief, Christian practice, limited to, most of the time, to Christmas celebration. Christmas and Good Friday services. That day is no problem, you know. It's coming together only once, uh, twice in, in a year. It is not like that. When you have Christ within you, I don't say you should be always in the ch uh, church, but uh, we need to practice. We need to extend because God is with us. When God is with us, then what happens is uh, we, you extend yourself. When uh, angel of the Lord told uh, Mary that you are conceived by the Holy Spirit, when Jesus became part of Mary, she extended herself to reach out to Elizabeth. So that is a dynamism when Christ becomes part of our life. Maybe we need to start with family. We need to talk to. We need to smile. Maybe we need to give forgiveness for family members, maybe friends, maybe. Maybe we, we may be need to show more patience, more compassion, maybe a little more care, a little more brightness, and bringing life more beautiful. As Eliot, you know, when uh, they saw the uh, baby, they returned, lived, um, went uh, differently, in different way, changed their life. And Christmas is uh, bringing us to build up that uh, friendship, that relationship, so that people around us can feel God with us when the word made flesh and dwelt among us and making our life beautiful, little more uh, happy, joyful, and peaceful, and making also uh, this life more brighter and meaningful. Let us create this space for the Lord to be born in our hearts and make a difference in our life.
Amen. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Confident that God is always near to us, let's bring our petitions to him. For all who are gathered for worship this day, that we may grow in faith, hope, and love during this season and bring forth God's reign in our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all parents, particularly those who struggle with their children, that they may be guided by Christ toward new ways of leading their children to responsibility and maturity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For family members who are in conflict or who are estranged, that God's love will heal their hearts and dissolve pride so that they may share the joy of fellowship and love again, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an appreciation of the ordinary, that the coming of Christ as a human may lead us to a deeper appreciation of the gift of our own humanity and ordinariness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who celebrate Christmas, that our minds may be more aware and our hearts more responsive to all who are in need, particularly the victims of war, human trafficking, refugees, and those recovering from natural disasters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the hospital, the homeless, and those who are in prison, that the coming of Christ may bring hope, healing, and new possibilities for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are experiencing darkness, for those with depression, those who are grieving, or those living amidst crime and violence, that the light of Christ may scatter the darkness and bring hope to their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are seeking employment, that God will gift them with opportunities to support their families and to use their talents for the good of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout the world, that the Prince of Peace may bring an end to violence in all areas afflicted by violence and lead all peoples to greater cooperation in overcoming poverty and disease. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, divine source of all family love, bless our families on this day that we commemorate your birth and provide us all your Provide us for all our needs. Give us the strength to be holy, always open to your grace, and committed to your purposes. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Make acceptable, O oh Lord, our oblation on this solemn day, when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight, and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord of God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, mm -hmm. to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for in the mystery of the world made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up to him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
who are in fear holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was tempted, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit and may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth 
with their servant Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and his assistants, the order of bishops, Mark our pastor, all the clergy, and then their people you have gained for you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. God departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us no temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and free from all disease, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom. For it is for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other peace. a sign of peace. Peace with you. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord have mercy. That is the end of my life. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <coughs> May 
May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ bring to our lasting life. And the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world born this day is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning to all of you. And uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. We will now take up our second offering for our Christmas celebration. very much for the uh, second offering. I'd like to first of all uh, thank uh, our um, Premier of Ontario, uh, Premier Doug Ford, and uh, our representative here in Erin Mills, um, Sheriff Subawi, uh, for their greetings uh, to all the families, Catholic families here uh, in, the, uh, in our uh, Community. So, in fact, uh, Mr. Sheriff Sabawi is with us in this Holy Mass today, and um, we're very grateful for uh, the support and the um, encouragement you've been giving uh, to us uh, during this uh, uh, time of great celebration. I'd like to um, uh, encourage the bulletin with you as you leave the church. We have much to be grateful for to the Lord. Uh, this is uh, the first time in two years or three years <laughs> uh, when uh, we're in, uh, uh, we are able to gather together as a, as a full house. Uh, if you recall, it's almost like a distant memory now. But uh, one Christmas, we had to uh, uh, content ourselves with attending Mass online and then coming here to the church to uh, receive Holy Communion at the door. We were not even allowed to uh, come into the church. Uh, and, um, and then another at Christmas time, we had to register uh, ourselves and, uh, uh, in order to um, attend Mass because we are limited uh, with a certain percentage inside uh, uh, the building. And now we are all here together to celebrate the birth of the Savior. It's just wonderful to see so many of you. Uh, we, uh, so this is our uh, seventh Mass uh, already, and uh, uh, in including you, we probably have seen about 3,000 people coming to celebrate the Holy uh, of uh, this this Christmas celebration, so it's it's just wonderful to to see that happening, uh, and uh, not, that that does not even include about uh, 500 people who have been following uh, the masses uh, online, uh, and um, and it's just uh, it's just wonderful. I I, I truly uh, say it's magnificent to see. Uh, so many people uh, to uh, joining us for celebrating this uh, birthday of the Savior. Uh, tomorrow morning, for those of you who uh, attend Mass uh, daily, or if you, have, if you intend to come and join us for Holy Mass, our Mass tomorrow uh, will be uh, at 9 o'clock in the morning. The church and the office will be closed throughout the day. We will be resuming our regular schedule come Tuesday. On uh, uh, next weekend uh, is uh, New Year's Eve uh, and New Year's Day. Uh, it also happens the Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. And um, 
our Mass will follow the regular Sunday schedule. So uh, 5 o'clock on Saturday uh, and then uh, the four Masses on Sunday. I hope I'll wake up at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> but uh, uh, nevertheless, it's, it's, uh, it's a going to be a regular uh, schedule for, for, the, for that weekend. So again, um, uh, please uh, take a bulletin with you. And if you, are, uh, if you are, have been wanting to, uh, to go to Israel and uh, Egypt for, uh, for so long, I, uh, you may want to get a flyer. I have uh, a pilgrimage coming up in November uh, next year. It's that time to, it's, there's enough time to save, uh, which also features a Nile cruise. So uh, if you're interested, uh, uh, just pick up a, a flyer as you leave the church today. Let us all stand and uh, let us ask Father Jason to give us a final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow, bow your heads for God's blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. May God, who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives, and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor, and make you shares with the church in heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please turn to page 328 in the Catholic Book of Worship page 328. 